in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. You were sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier won many peoples to yourself, grant that the heart of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for the faith, and that Holy Church may everywhere rejoice in the abundance of offspring through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God says this, Shall not Lebanon in a very little while become a fruitful field, and the fruitful field be regarded as a forest? On that day the deaf shall hear the words of a scroll, and out of their gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind shall see. The meek shall obtain fresh joy in the Lord, and the neediest people shall exult in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant shall be no more, and the scoffer shall cease to be. All those alert to do evil shall be cut off. Those who cause a person to lose a lawsuit, who set a trap for the arbiter in the gate, and without grounds deny justice to the one in the right. Therefore, thus says the Lord, who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob, no longer shall Jacob be ashamed, no longer shall his face grow pale. For when he sees his children, the work of my hands, in his midst, they will sanctify my name. They will sanctify the Holy One of Jacob and will stand in awe of the God of Israel. And those who err in spirit will come to understanding and those who grumble will accept instruction. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus went 
on from his from his own village to two men who were blind followed him crying loudly have mercy on us son of david when jesus entered the house the men who were blind came to him and jesus said to them do you believe that i am able to do this they said to him yes lord then he touched their eyes and said according to your faith let it be done to you and their eyes were opened then jesus sternly ordered them see that no one knows of this but they went away and spread the news about him throughout that district the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ so today in the holy eucharist while we celebrate the feast of saint francis xavier we pray for the visit of the pope in cyprus we pray we pray for the citizen of cyprus the cypriot that god through the holy spirit open the heart and the mind of many there to receive the gospel amen Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, and the good of all his holy church. Receive all of these offerings we bring you in commemoration of St. Francis Xavier, and grant that as he journeyed to distant lands, out of longing for the salvation of souls, so we too, bearing effective witness to the gospel, may, with our brothers and sisters, eagerly hasten to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength, ever new, and offer us, offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exultation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he in the name of the Lord, O 
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our beloved Pope, and Christian, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and from by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the glory are Jesus yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I have that mercy that Let us not turn to my wound, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your mystery, O oh God, kindle in, in us that fire of charity with which St. Francis Xavier burned for the salvation of souls, so that, walking ever more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the recompense you promise to those who labor well in your harvest through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth the masses ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God.